wipe off these little pieces of stuff that are coming on. Me and Stutter. Gilda B starts for this one. Watch me adjust to a suitable tempo. who I think is somewhere out in the west coast. Here I am back in uh, Tubby Tower Studio C, currently located somewhere, an undisclosed location in uh, London, Europe. And uh, well, we've got lots of exciting things happening in all sort of unsequenced ways. So what can I do except pick up my little cup of tea here, have a tiny sip just to re-identify myself as a Brit and um, move on to the next one. <clears throat> Tubbs actually doesn't seem to be right here right now, but it's not always easy to be anywhere, is it? Okay, this was requested by Derek. Um, it's Jerry Garcia's birthday, which was early this week, so I'm gonna attempt this song. I apologize in advance for whatever happens to the chords towards the end of the song, um, and in fact, during the song, this is my my redux of um, Box of Rain by the Grateful Dead. Let's see, see how far I get. Rain would be fantastic, actually. I mean, it used to rain indoors in Manchester, but even that hasn't happened lately. Okay, mm. Ringo, even when you can't see him, his hair still come out of your mouth. Check it out, CIO, good Lord. A new one on my nose. Fascinating, personal grooming never got so personal. I know this is what you pay us the big bucks for. Um, here we go. Interestingly enough, too, because the topic of Fancy Feast is bound to arise, I'm sure y'all have seen those things on Twitter that you've been sending us about, um, a pop-up Fancy Feast restaurant in New York next week. Um, and obviously we'll do our best to go, but let's see what happens. Wow, incredible, live hairs. Watch this. My mother had known when she gave birth to me in 
a hospital in West London nearly 70 years ago that one day I would be taking cat hairs off of my face in full view of several hundred people across the world, she would have thought, well, I suppose the future is going to happen, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Oh 
I think I was completely wing the chords. Yeah. You know, I was going to, but unfortunately, the hair's got better. The better I thought on me, you were you doing. Appeared. I thought you were doing quite well, which I is was. why I joined you. Oh no! I thought I'd join you for, for the, the outro. Bit. No, we'll do the outro properly next week. Next week. But, Ooh, uh, great. Yeah. No, I, I have learned it by then. I know the words, but I just the chords are upside Remember down. Remember when we spent all that time on the Isle of Wight trying to learn that song? We did, and then you mysteriously vanished. But uh, yeah, I do. Remember I decided that. to move back to Australia. You did. At that point. I don't know why you didn't want to spend another month learning that on the Isle of Wight in Darwin's old house. Yeah, well, I mean. <laughs> well, the thing Dad, is, all that... seaside flat learning the one Grateful Dead song over and over again, or oh, well, sunny time it was like in... for the Darwins. Do yeah. you think Charles and Emma Darwin spent time in the flat learning the Grateful Dead? I would imagine they'd have. St- I mean, it would have been much harder for them because it would have been like you know hundred years before Jerry and Co were born. Right. There'd have been a lot of Ouija board activity. Okay. You know, obviously Charles was an Aquarius. I don't know what Emma was. So he would have been doing all these, like Charles Dickens was an Aquarius. Mm-hmm. There were a whole lot, lot of... The two Charleses. The two Charleses. And they both, I think they both did time on the Isle of Wight. Yeah, everybody flirts with the Isle of Wight when they can. <laughs> yes, an interesting point, really. Um, Hello, Greeters. Hey, folks, here we are. Um... Someone in the chat made a quite cute comment. I think it was Tickle Fox that it was reassuring to see yeah. this bookshelf again. Well, it was nice, nice for us, Tickle Fox, actually, to see this bookshelf and to see It's Perry. nice to see you all from Tubby's actual house. Yeah, even if Tubby mysteriously isn't here. but um, He'll be back. He's just making an entrance. Yes, that's a good like point. Like all good thespians. What, like all good... Yeah, right, yeah, the you diva know, in him. Yeah, the diva in him knows how to prance onto the stage when the time is right. Well, that's the, because only he knows what the, when that time is. Now, our contributions for the Fancy, Fancy Feast, Feast Fund, Fund. Um, might actually go towards buying us a fan this week. It's unseasonably <sighs> hot in Britain. Many is, thank you to here. Stacey and Brian, Bob and Julie, John, another Stacey, Anne, David, John and Tamsin, Bear, Goldie and Scott, Cassidy... S.H. McCleary, Michael, KDJ and Thomas, we appreciate your contributions to the Fancy Happy Feast Fund. Fund. Hurrah! Wow, yes, and so do so Tubbs, much. Ringo and Daphne because they all lap it up. They do and now apparently this restaurant is going to start selling Fancy Feast for humans. I just tried to make us a reservation but the reservations don't start until tomorrow. Oh God. Well, we, I mean, we're supposed to be there. so We'll be in New York yeah, on the yeah. day. I mean, we don't worry, we're live from Tubby Towers, we'll transmit from here in Studio C, uh, and then we're just, the two crabs limo, whoops, sorry, the tiny ghost limo will whisk us to um, to Heathrow, and we will be, um, oh, what's the word when you come out of the limo? By limo, too? do you mean? I do, yes, yeah. <laughs> I agree, yeah. A quite cheap car. <laughs> You no, know, they're actually quite expensive now, because of, because of the war, the gas has gone up. Okay. Gas prices. Yeah. Uh, a limo like Toyota Corolla. Well, the point <laughs> is that when, if I, when I say the tiny ghost limo or the two crabs limo, that, that mm. it carries with it a certain degree of irony. Look, any vehicle getting us to Heathrow, either to Heathrow or from Heathrow, is a miracle. Well, it's certainly age. compared to Gatwick as well. Yeah, it took me 13 hours to get back the other day. Insane. I'm glad you made it, darling. It's I fantastic. Know. You were um, worried. Yeah, I was just about to ring the police when you rocked up at just after dawn. Fortunately, I had a, I had a. I wasn't like grooving, sadly, folks. My tr- my plane got so delayed that when I arrived at Heathrow, I arrived in time for a taxi strike at one a.m. And, and no and, food. And no food. I think I'd have actually lain down and died. I think I'd have just beaten my little fists on the asphalt and given up the ghost. I was impressed that you made well, it. Well, I'm a very determined lady. You are, but even you need food. I know. 
Um, mm -hmm. oh, well, I guess we, there's no point. We don't need to tell them that. This is quite dull, isn't it? It is. It's dull. Yeah. Sorry. Well, it's really yeah. boring. Some boring um, details. Yeah. Shall we sing them a song? Let's sing this one because it's the anniversary. Oh no. No. Yeah. Let's do De Kiriko Street for real. Somebody requested that. I might yeah. change guitars just because this one's in tune. I want it. You want to play an out of tune guitar? I want to play something a bit funkier. Yeah. Mm. Well, could you take me to Funky Town? Take you to Funky Town. Do you want me to bring you back? Was it a one-way trip to Funky Town? <laughs> one-way trip to Funky Town. <laughs> In a Corolla, please. <laughs> to Kiriko Street. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> a different kind of funky town. Oh, who's this for? It's a birthday. It's for Ruth. Ruth, Ruth, who has outed herself as a Leo or a fact of lioness. So this one's for all the lionesses. Oh, any of you lionesses who are Julie. All the Julie, lions. Um, Julie M is a lioness, isn't she? Yeah. I was followed home by onto Kirika Street He said, what do you know? I said, what do you mean? Onto Kirika Street And the numbers turn to fingers And the fingers turn to flies And they buzzed around your portrait I was followed home by 73 onto Kirika Street shedding then maybe wave it at them without putting it in my hand like a newborn wave because then I'm just like Mr. Sticky you don't want to like you don't want to wash your face with Tubby's loving fur not so much because I, I've spent the last hour washing his loving fur off me mm -hmm. I mean see if you can find him yeah Hello. for sure okay okay whoa thanks folks you are watching through your eyes a uh a live version of live from Tubby's house. This is actually happening in the present moment, um, unless of course you're watching it on rebound sometime in the next 48 hours, in which case it's no longer live. But at the time of transmission, 
it is live and I must say I really enjoy this broadcasting stuff and the whole thing of the perfect alignment of the um, etage with the camera and my shirt and Perry the Lobster who will re read some vintage news at the hour of three. Um, if anyone's got a request for the vintage from... <laughs> if anyone would like to say a specific year from which they would like Perry to read the news, then... What's that, Perry? Yes. Yes, I can see he's coming. Yeah, all oh, right, okay. Uh, just write in, please, oh. to write in to Mission Control, to Emirate Mission Control. Good grief. Here is one of the major recipients of the Fancy Feast Fund. It's Mr. Ringo. Mr. Ringo. Ringo, Ringo Morrissey Stardust. Okay. Hello, Thol, where were you? In the arms of Morpheus. Yes. Waiting for another meal to appear. He's very That's excited it. to see you all. <laughs> yes, I can see. God. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's perfect in every Swimming way. Swimming through Ooh. life. <laughs> I have so much cat hair on my face. Uh, you're going to need oh, one of these gosh, little things. Oh, gosh, he's beautiful. Look, look at him. Why are you so thuddy? Yeah. He is. Very fun. Shall we sing a song thought. and see if he sticks around? Okay. Sally um, was a legend. Well, that was requested by the guy who requested the uh, the other one. Yeah. Box of Rain, Deke. He gets a Deke. twofer. A twofer for Deke, who is watching this on replay. the result. Hang on. Someplace that Kimberly can access, um, you know. Well, maybe Britain. one day we'll get Kimberly as a special guest online from Tubby's house. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? God, that would be interesting. We'd have to haul him up at 
Yeah, okay, we probably have to do a special, like some special is time of day. Is he an all day. night groover? No, he's not an all night groover. He's I think, got a late night cat. No, Kim likes to hit Uncle Ned, as he puts it, probably about 10.30 with Ooh, a cup of cocoa. That's not very rock and roll. No, well, he would be the is first to say Is that why he walks he on wasn't. sunshine? Because he's a morning person. Yeah, you know, Kim cleaves to the positive. He's not like me. You know, yeah. he likes sunshine and going for walks and... Being, you know, in his right mind and yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, he's a happy-minded Sagittarian he lad. Wants to be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sure there are fiends tugging away inside him, but there's um, fiends tugging in, inside and everybody. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, fiends, check it out. CIO, oh, yeah. love ya. The thing is to love your fiends. Well, I do. I've sort of married some of them. You've I've, married your fiends. I've married some. Not you, <laughs> darling. Nothing fiendish about I you. I can be a fiend if you like. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to... Um, I, I'm branding you as an unfiendly person. Okay. Technically, in this relationship, professional relationship, I'm the bad cop. You're the bad cop? Yeah. Okay, and I'm, I'm the, the good cop. Well, I'm the grumpy, difficult guy, and you're the person who facilitates things for people. They don't need to know I'm the otherwise. friendly helper. You're the friendly helper. They don't need to know that things aren't necessarily what they've seen. I'll say you're the actual easygoing one. Well, in life, I just, as you know, I just lie on my back next to Ringo with my paws in the air, waiting for someone to drop a bit of fancy feast in paws my mouth. Paws in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> yeah, where's that from? Ooh. Ringo's solo album. I got paws in the air like I just don't care, yeah. Paws in the air and always there now. Paws in the air like I just don't care that much. If I watch the show on replay, I can work out how the rest of it goes. Pause in the air, the debut single from Ringo yeah, Morrissey. Stardust. Stardust. Oh, yeah, coming up soon on oh, Tiny yeah. Ghost Records. Well, that you know, we've got great. a record label, they can all. Yeah. I mean, Perry's going to make a double album of news reading. Oh, is he? Well, eventually, because he's going to he is going to cut up rough, act the goat, um, uh, let us have what for, separate the shillings from the pence. If, I mean, everyone else is, you and I are making Separate out the fancy from the feast. He is going to do that. He is going to get, be pincers akimbo. And, um, yes, if we don't give him a double, you know. It's because of that, all that Lou Reed stuff. Perry, while he was away, I reckon, he's, he's been at Metal Machine Music. He's been listening to that Lou Reed, you know, double album of noise. I think that's, what, that's where one of those eyes went. We came back and discovered that Perry is actually... Slipstreamed Tubby, and he's lost an eye. <laughs> I think Daphne might have something to do with this. But da da Daphne must have got into the cupboard then. Oh, was that was Perry in the cupboard? You put him there in a I time don't remember lock. Doing that. Well, uh, lots of things. I don't remember things. Nobody puts Perry in a cupboard. You did. <laughs> I said, what are you doing with Perry? Why are you putting him in that cupboard? And you said, wait and see. Vanished <laughs> in a puff of smoke. He went and had his eye surgery. Oh, if that's the way of putting it, I think he... He's got nice dark eyes, hasn't he? Mm, Do you think we're going to need to like get... You. Are we going to need to... Oh, well, he's clearly a son of mine. Do you want to get Perry a glass eye? Well, um, do you think we should have a, like a... a, a what's it called? A, a whip round, a... What's it called? Patreon? No, no, you know, crowdfunding. I think we can get... Can we I think we can an siphon off an eye. An eye for Perry, little parents. <laughs> oh, do you think, dear listeners, just think it's going to be Christmas. It's going to be Christmas Eve. The snowflakes are going to be glistening in Antarctica. Fiends are screaming below the ice. And meanwhile, there's going to be one little lobster that's only got one eye looking out. And Jesus is going to come over in his helicopter and he's going to be, come unto me, all ye lobsters. Perry's going to go... Me, and Jesus might not see him because he's only got one eye. Okay, there's not, the logic doesn't You're hold. You're insane today. What about the other days? When has the logic ever held with you? Logic doesn't really hold with me. No, you know that. I know. Um, oh, oh, should we sing a song? I'm going to go and okay. find Tubby, but you could sing I a song. I might sing a song. I've got some requests. You so could do this little... Those two together. Oh, well, aren't you going to sing that one with me? Oh, mm. if I sing that, you might sing this with me. If Perhaps. You come back. God, I love living with you. Like, absolutely. The lack one of minute certainty. you might Sexy, lock a lobster in a cupboard, and the next you might not remember doing it. Oh, viewers. Viewers, can you? I bet you probably can. Probably, if you love anybody, it's because they 
But drive you insane. You, well, well they, yes, they drive each other That's insane. That's what love is for. It is, darling. But I'm off. You're right. Okay, d- do come back sometime. Okay, I'm going to sing this one. Hang on. Okay, so it is... Um, 16 years, unbelievably, 16 years since Arthur Lee passed on. He died about only a month after Sid Barrett. It was a, one of those years of great loss. Um, so, in memory and honour of that, let's try this one. changes which sounds fantastic i actually once got to meet arthur and he uh, mimed shooting me 
and introduced me on stage a song early, but apart from that, he was very nice and gave me a hug. He was a Pisces, an interestingly conflicted man. I'd written a song called The Wreck of the Arthur Lee, which I admit might not have been my best calling card for meeting him, but um, we seemed to get on okay afterwards. But who knows? Who knows what he stuck, darts he stuck into my photograph in his quiet moments. Um, and I will attempt to sing that very song, actually, with Emma next time she reappears, but she's still in a circuit. So what have I got here? Oh, I've got this one here. Oh yeah, okay. This was requested by Max, and uh, I played this in the warm-up set. And I was informed by none other than Marcus, who knows these things. I think Marcus is a Pisces as well. What a team. Marcus Slade, Arthur Lee, Mikhail Gorbachev. That's it. I lured him out because we'd had so many wonderful contributions to the Fancy Beast, Beast Fund. Fund. So I'm going to read them if you take the boy. Yeah, hang on. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to have to do this whole wipey thing. Hold it. Well, I can hold the boy if you want to read them. No, because I can't read, can I? Okay. I can't see a bloody thing. All right. Hey, hey Mr. Smedley. 
what we're going to do. Look, here's a cat, and it. Tubbins, look, it's your Tubby, public. Look. Look, look, you know you like show business. You're born you to love it. Show you business. love show business. You show business. You are Mr. Showbiz. Oh, you yeah. are the most showbiz cat in this household. And I think in many ways the most extrovert personality of all of us. Oh, God. Oh, Tubbs. Oh, blimey. Okay. I'll get off his chair. There you go, Tubbs. Good boy. Okay. Today's contributions to the, the Fancy Feast, Feast Fund. Fund. We'd like to thank Rick. Laurie. Jessica. Jen T. Terence. Robert. Orange, Steve, Sasha, Sasha Ed, Ed, and Krenko, and, and Michelle. Thank Whoa, you. wow, thank you. Thank you all for your contributions oh, to the Fancy Beast Fund. Oh, it got a little feisty there, it but Tubby is now. Oh, God. Okay, does that mean you're not going to join me for this next song because Tubbs is there? I can join you for this song if Tubby makes room for me. What song is it? You know that? what? I'm going to do one other one while you do something. What? Then you can remove Tubby. Okay. Because I've got a song that follows on from that one. Um, because it's a song that obviously inspired it. If that song, St. Parallelogram, reminds you of something, it's probably this. to that but it feels rather different thinking about it but um it's always interesting to see where things come from everything comes from somewhere tubby came from florida fla he struck his way across the usa lost an eyeball on the way shaved his paws and then he was a he oh tubs there you hey, are tubs take a walk on the take wild a walk side on the wild side oh god said hey tubby um Oh, Tubbs. Tubbins. Little Earl of Tubbs. It's very hot. I don't it think he wants to be cold. No, he doesn't really. Um, all Shall right. we sing a song? Let's sing. Let's, can we do that one that we Ooh, were going yeah. to do that relates back to Arthur Lee? Absolutely. I've got it all back to front. But um, You've always got things back to front. I do. It's an interesting thing about me. Back to front. You know who else is back to front? Do I just slightly tune the guitar? Oh, that'd be fabulous. This guitar, this guitar stays very in tune. Hang on. Let's try this. Captain and all his men 
Jesus is Lord, they cry. Believe in love, believe in love, and I'll believe in you. The missing avenger place can never return to base. Don't you wait up for This one that we've um, let's do this one. Nobody's requested it, and we've never sung it together. But it turns out we both know it. Oh, okay, sure. I pitched it up slightly higher than the previous one. Pop it on the fifth fret, would you, sweet? Oh my God, okay. Yeah, just for for giggles. Oh, for right. For kicks. Okay, kicks. Lovely. Um, okay, let's see what this one. I came by myself to a very crowded place I was looking for someone with lines and a face I found her there, but she was past all concern Darkness is born. 
I cried, oh, late in midnight, I fear that you grow old. The stars eat your body, and the wind makes you cold. If we cry now, she said, it will just be ignored. So I walked through the morning, the sweet early morning. I could hear my lady calling. You've won me, you've won me, my lord. Yes, you've won me, you've won me. Sing to Tubby every morning. You've won me, you've won me, my lord. We Lord have, Tubbins. You know, Tubbins has won us every day in his lottery. He winneth us and his brother Ringo too. And we daffs now as well. And we winneth them. We winneth them because love is winning each other. And also wiping yourselves. Wiping, wiping them. Wiping, wiping them off your you. friends away. Wipe. Win me and then wipe me off. It's a win and wipe situation. I wish we I mean, let's have uh, Ray and Carol round for a W and W. <laughs> oh, gosh. A win and wipe. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, you know, in these social situations, I mean, I've always tried to avoid them, but you may occasionally get trapped in these little um, uh, manifestations of the bourgeoisie 1970s style, you know, like fondues. Fondues. It's almost speaking of fondues. It's almost time for Perry. Oh to God, no! Years. That's the point. Has anyone requested a year? For I've heard for 1956, 1953, 1972. Oh. Um. Uh. 19. That's probably a lot to be going on with. Yeah. Um. Do you want to make a choice? Oh God. 1950. I mean, the choice is six or 1972. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're both even numbers. Mm-hmm. Which which would you prefer? Well, I don't know. It depends. Yeah. Do you want like rock and roll, or do you want the sort of glam birth rock. of glam? Birth of glam. Mm. Oh. Perhaps Perry could report on the birth of. Oh, glam. let's do the birth of. Uh, uh, oh, say Pesmeister. Could you? Um, he's just over. Well, I'll bring him over. How about you sing him. folks a song because you've got three minutes and then three minutes. Three minutes until Perry o'clock. Oh, Perry Pes o'clock. Oh, you could join me if you wanted. Oh, okay. All right, hang on. I went to see the gypsy Staying in a big hotel He smiled when he saw me coming And he said, well, well, well His room is dark and crowded Lights were low and dim How are you? He said to me I said it back to him I went out to the lobby To make a small call out Pretty dancing girl was there And she began to shout Go on back to see the gypsy Dancing 
of I Went to See the Gypsy by none other than Bob Dylan and here is none other than the Pesmeister to read you the news from 1972. Okay, have at it, Perry. Here we go. Good evening, lobster enthusiasts everywhere. Thank you for tuning in to our delicious program. I have long thought of you in my dark closet over the week when I have been left... Yeah, no, just... When I have been left mercilessly to my own devices and had no option but to lose an... Yeah, Perry, that's not really to do with 1972, is it? You're going to get to that. Oh, you're going to get to that. As I was saying, whilst I was lying in a meditative condition, the year 1972 mysteriously formed Inside my uh, princess, yeah. Oh, that, that. 1972 is famous, most friends of Paul and Lily, for David Bowie's classic Ziggy Stardust. Of course, it was actually recorded in 1971. As so often happens, the roots of the year lie in the year before. Just saying. Bobby zapped the headline with his fabulous Ziggy Stardust album and in the course of that disinterred the great Lou Reed from the tomb in which he had lain since the Lonely Underground disintegrated. <laughs> oh yes, not to be outdone, Bobby penned the classic All the Young Duds Oh, give them to what the, it's dudes. <laughs> then the mysterious all the young duds were massive hit for not the hoople. It's, it's hoople. Well, it didn't sound like that in the cupboard. A, a dud is like a, well, it's something, it's, it's not, it's like a dud root means like a, someone who's not good at sex in, in Australian, yeah. Like, okay, that gizmo, that geezer is a, Enough. Okay, sorry. <laughs> As I was saying, 1972 was a very interesting year. No less a person than Robin Hitchcock threw up at the art school dance after ingesting a hash cake and listening to. It was Silver Machine by Awkward. On three or four pints of cider. Ho <laughs> ho, he never did that again. What do you say, eh? Anyway, more news next week. I've got to take a will. It was brilliant, Perry. No one has ever read the news like I know, and there's so much so much happens. You can be doing this long after everyone's gone. Yeah, you can do a triple album. How about that? Triple vinyl, they'll all buy it. They want they all want to support you because you too run on Fancy Feast. Yeah. Okay. Alright, gang. Uh, that was the Three o'clock news read by Perry. News from 1972. Uh, I'm your clammy host, R. Hitchcock. Oh, God. I've had a request. Any more request? Yes, Mossy and Baby Squid would both like to hear Rock and Roll Toilet. Oh, and okay. I would too. After would you? That. Okay, after that. Yeah, well, I think me, I'm... Tubby, Baby Squid, Mossy, and um, all the oh, young dads sing it, request sing it Rock with and Roll me. Toilet. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay. Sure. I'll, I'll use one of my more out of tune guitars. Oh, oh great. Here we are. It'd be weird if you played one that was in tune. Well, you know, Hendrix. Bert Yanch said that Jimi Hendrix's guitars were always out of tune. And um, so, you know, they're both dead legends. God. Okay. Hey, folks, you're still listening to the programme. It's still going on. You may have stopped to get yourself a, a, a ginger wine or... Um, some cheese. Some cheese. A young uh, dud. A young dud. A young dud root. No, family friendly, please. Well, it is. I'm, I'm using the back language. Young dark root beer. <laughs> you know, I've never had a root. Have you ever had a root beer? Yeah, it's delicious. Is it? Mm. But we don't. Hey, that's Tubby. Mm. Tubbins, how did you get back in here? I brought him back ages ago. Oh God. Okay. Uh, 
Sorry, I haven't. Uh, it takes a while to reactivate this stuff, so it's okay. going like. Look at the okay, ready. One, two, three, four. Look at the beautiful patterns that fall on the wall. Oh, that's much nicer. Stick out your finger to trace them. Just look at them all. One more time. Look at the beautiful patterns that fall on the wall. Stick out your finger to trace them, just look at them all. What you mean, my my Your career life in, in live rock music? And roll toilets, yeah. Well, like so many things, I wrote that and then lived it. Mm. I mean, actually, all I'm, songs are prophecies, as I always say. I say that too. Yeah. I really hope mine aren't. But I think that they are. Fuck. I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, oh gosh, <laughs> gee willikers. Gee whiz. Shave me bald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. And we didn't have key parties in the 1970s. We didn't even have keys. <laughs> I had to hide under the table to avoid fondues. I just got you a little alarm today. Did you see alarm. that arriving in the post? It's a little alarm that you put on your keys so that when you've lost them, you set the... You oh, so out. when we lose our keys? Yeah, which we always do. Yes, at least we don't have to go and have fondues with people. Mm. 
It's really nice not having to have Not having fondue. Feet. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind it on my own if it was delivered. The solitary fondue. Yeah, if I could have a <laughs> solitary fondue by myself, in bad lighting, under a table, while it was cold, with probably only... So very you to tubby. think about how... To think about a food item that is so designed to be shared. Yeah, just to think it about myself. how you want to have it all. Yeah, yeah, I like having a, the lonely birthday cake. Oh. You know, like, I mean, I've I've lived in houses with people who actually leave teeth marks in the birthday cake. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's their own birthday. cake. I mean, cake, I would never do that. You didn't, but there, are, there have been people... Some I of them like to up. finish things. If I was going to leave a teeth mark and no cake, there I'd wouldn't just, be, any, there wouldn't be, be any, any cake. No, no. I, there's just some people who um, I, I might even be related to who've done that. They've left oh, really? teeth marks, yeah. Sometimes in were cheese. Were they good teeth? Good British teeth? They were youngish teeth. Mm. I mean, they, you know, it wasn't like Keith Richard came and took a bite out of my birthday cake. I'd love <laughs> it. I'd love it if you took a bite out of my birthday cake. That'd be nice. It could be our birthday cake because I'm December 15 and he's December 17. What, so technically you... he might just be getting into my cake because he thinks it's his. The idea of him getting into your cake is a really terrifying thought, but still, yeah. <laughs> Rock and Mom, toy Keith got into my cake. <laughs> <laughs> Should we sing a song? Um, yes. Yeah, oh, look, I know. Someone requested this song last week. Okay. And, um, oh, this is a dismal one. It is dismal. This is, and it's not by, uh, not by me. It's by. Um, Can I make a request? Yeah, what do you want? It's that when people request songs, you, you write down their are. names next to them. I did, but not on the piece of paper that I've got. Mm. I wrote them down on pieces of paper that might be in Nashville. Oh, okay. So you left the request. I left a lot of them in all the over. lobby of the Virgin Hotel. <laughs> Please, the undisclosed location where we might have been staying. <laughs> Now they'll all want one. They'll well, want a Virgin, Virgin Hotel, Hotel for Christmas. Yeah. And then what they're going to do, they're going to leave teeth marks in it. Okay. Yeah. There's going to really? be all these like hotels with like, they've, they've only taken one bite out of it. Teeth marks for Branson. Teeth marks for Branson. <laughs> then you're going to get a, a text from Keith Richard going, Oi, where's my hotel? Okay. It's, and then you're going to say, it's our hotel, Keith. And he's mm. just going to go, Ugh. I'll say, I've left a cake in it. But I can't tell you what floor it's on. I left a cake in your hotel. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Let's sing a song. This okay. is getting very inane. Uh, that, that one or that one? Oh. Or that one? Okay, I'm going to do this one then. Sure. Motion pictures on my TV screen Home away from home Living in between I hear some people have got their dreams I got mine I hear the mountains to Fine. Morning glory is on the vine, and the dew is falling. Ducks are calling. I got mine. You know, quacky. Quacky, the original, the OG duck. Yeah. He's from uh, Empire Hotel in Belfast. Oh. Quacky too. Quacky too. It's from the Peabody Hotel in Memphis. So is. That's two disclosed hotels we've told you all about. You can make a Salvador Ducky. Where does Salvador Ducky come from? I feel like Salvador Ducky was a nice gift from someone. If you look up closely at Salvador Ducky's beautiful quiff, you can see a bit of Ringo there on the back. <laughs> Look at any quiff beautifully. It comes up quiff closely enough and there's a little bit of Ringo. Oh, man. I think you've got two vacuum cleaners. Yes. <laughs> One for each cat. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I hear some people think I, they got it made. 
I wouldn't buy, sell, borrow, or trade anything I had <laughs> to be like one of them. I'd rather <laughs> start all over again. Come on, Gran, you've got stuff on your fingers. Hey, you're all pink. <laughs> oh. oh, God, it's the paper papers. It's the headlines. Oh, yeah. Okay. You ready? Here we go, yeah. All those it's headlines, they just bore me now. I'll get it deep, deep inside, inside myself, myself, but I'll get out somehow. And <laughs> stand before you. Bring a smile to your eyes. <laughs> Grand, it's alright. Now keep look going, what you've done, going. viewers. Keep See, she's in tears. <laughs> oh. No one would laugh at that. No, let's do this time before you leave. Okay, well, okay. I'll be here. Yeah. All those headlines, they just bore me now. I'm deep inside myself. But <laughs> <I'm curious>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, think of a flavour in chew it in chiclets. Oh. It's okay, Perry, I think she's. Oh, look, hey, have some, have some lime juice. Yeah, it's all the lack nothing, of sleep. There's nothing funny about oh, lime juice. No, oh. it's... <laughs> <coughs> oh, God, we've just ruined a, a beautiful oh, Neil Young song. song in front of 200 people. Oh, God. Well, I, I'll have to make up for it next week. I'll have to ruin something else. What Sorry, would you like folks, us to ruin? It was the little bit of cat hair. <laughs> what, what was that? On the back of the duck. Oh, that sort of finished you off. <laughs> It's incredible. It's like the, you know, the yeah, the hair that broke the back of the duck's quiff. Oh, I yeah. try so hard to keep this house together. Was it you that's doing that? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we're gonna try. And we, we're that here song. next week. Sure, yeah. Hang on. I guess we'll still be here. We are. Oh yeah. You know, those glasses come from uh, Bordentown in New Jersey. That's a very boring observation. <laughs> oh, I wanted to calm you down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay. Are we doing that verse again? Are well, we we'll try. Okay, we'll try. I'm going to close go. my okay. eyes because I can't look at you. <laughs> you mean so you can't I look at me? I could just look in the can't. opposite direction. What's funny about me? <laughs> okay. okay. All those headlines, they just bore me now I'm deep inside myself, but I'll get out somehow And I'll stand before you Bring a smile to your eyes Motion picture Motion pictures Motion pictures Motion pictures Oh yeah? Yeah. Clean Let's as a roll whistle. Straight into Glass Hotel. Oh boy, okay. Um <laughs> Like everything was going well It seems like 
like it seems like you were up there in your glass hotel and it seems like it seems all the radios playing in the darkness of the hall there was someone standing Geranium came out of it, reminded me of you, and I was crying. Seems like you were in a glass hotel. It seems like, it seems like, seems like there was someone else as well. It seems like. Okay, folks, I think this is the great wind down. Miss E. Swift may have even left the stage for this week. I'm just going to pick up one more guitar and um, begin the process, the gradual ragaring out, which is the way the show generally ends. Thanks for tuning in. It's been a. What do you reckon, Perry? 1974. You want to do 1974 next week? Oh, I don't know. I mean, who wants to know about 1974? You do. But if you want to know about 1974, what can you tell people about it? You can tell, you can tell people what you've learned. So you're going to bone up on 1974. <laughs> What's your favourite song from 1974? No, Sailing by Rod Stewart was a hit in 1975. And 1976, how do you know that? You've been rooting through time again. Not being a dud root, are you? No, oh, okay. enough! It's all right, they don't know what it means. Okay, here we are, folks. Oh, boy, it's been one of those scratchy, sticky weeks. Um, next week may also be a similar thing. I hope y'all are... Uh, air conditioned, air cooled, resistant to everything where you are and can sort of just carry on gently ignoring the universe until it's gone altogether. Who knows? Oh, good Lord, I think, you know, it's hard to know. It's possible.
love on you. We'll see you next Wednesday. We will, unbelievably. Excellent. I mean, we believe. I mean, believe it or not, we'll see you on Wednesday. Reliably, we'll be here next Wednesday. I know, but isn't it incredible to think that we'll be here? Well, I'd, I'd rather be here than anywhere else. Well, that's what I mean. We're actually going to, have to do it from here. Could you give us a raga? I've just been giving them a raga, yeah, but, but give them another raga. Yeah, but then you went into another song, so now I can fade you out. Oh, fade me out. Is that what you do? Okay, I'm going to just um, mess around with some tuning. And, uh, actually, if you know what, pass me yonder that raga guitar. Oh, no, okay. Ho-hum. Let's say what happens if we do this. All right, folks, I am going to detune live while you get up and fetch yourself a little confection and go, well, I don't know. <laughs>